Hello, today we are going to be learning to use coffee to do some painting trials. So follow along with me as we try and put together one of these as we learn how to use coffee and just water with brushes to make some painting trials. Okay, let's go. Okay, now we've got a nice cup of coffee made. The first thing we're going to do is look at putting together a tonal bar, moving from dark to light by applying different variances of coffee and mixing water in to start to dilute it. I would suggest starting in the middle of your bar because with the dark section you can always add more colour or mix up some more coffee afterwards that has less water in it and then from the middling section you can just add more water to the lighter side of the tonal bar. For the next task, you're going to draw a circle and we're going to turn it into a sphere by adding different variances of tone to it. So we're going to have a darker side, a middle side and a lighter side. We're going to build up this dark and middle side by adding multiple layers of coffee and then eventually later adding a different mix that has more coffee and less water to it. I used an image as a point of reference here and I would suggest that you do the same because it's difficult to try and imagine how this looks at without something in front of us showing those shadows or without an image to look at. Task 3, we're going to create a couple of splatter trials. This is nice and simple. I'm just going to paint a square full of the coffee mix. I'm going to make sure it's got quite a lot of water on it and then I'm going to blow in different directions or with different amounts of strength to try and see what effect is created when I blow on it. This is only going to work while the coffee is still wet, so please make sure that when you are doing it, you either add some water to it or make sure there's a lot of coffee on there. The final task is going to be to make a 3D looking cube by adding a dark, a middle and a lighter side on the cube. Again, I would suggest getting an image to use as a point of reference because doing this just from your imagination is going to be incredibly difficult. Good luck with putting those tasks together. I look forward to seeing your experimentations with coffee and I'll see you next week.